this is Justin Frickty, the Ford Specialist with Melbourne Seeds. Um, due to all the massive amounts of rainfall that uh, we've seen in parts of southwest Minnesota and, and uh, even parts of South Dakota here as of late, uh, there's a lot of flooded out fields, a lot of areas where the, the, the water's really standing and, and uh, starting to be pretty detrimental to the corn or soybean crop that's out there. And so really have had a lot of calls and a lot of questions about what are options um, if this rain doesn't stop and things don't dry up and our cash crop is dead, what are some options that you can actually do to, to plant out there and get something off of it? Uh, the first thing to think about is what did you do for herbicide out there? <clears throat> some of the pre-emerges on corn are pretty darn tough to go back with on a bean. Um, you know, you sure start some flex stars really, really hard to figure out something that way. Um, but things that do work on corn ground that has been flooded out are your sorghums, your sorghum sedan and grass hybrids that, uh, you know, may be concept or safe and treated and can go back on there and um, you can get a hay or silage crop off of there at least and uh, keep some value or some income coming off of that land. And if it was bean ground, um, you're not gonna go back to beans on there. Um, you know, you wanna make hay. You know, uh, some good options are looking at uh, the millets. We do have plenty of time for uh, to get a couple cuttings off of like a pearl millet or a Japanese millet, which would regrow. Um, otherwise, there's the old standby uh, golden German millet, which makes a, a nice single cut hay crop as well. Um, so those are kind of the options. The first thing is look at what you did for herbicide treatments. How is that going to affect for residual coming back with a, a forage crop like that? Um, and then put a plan together whether you're going to hay it or chop it um, and select one of those annual warm season forages from there. Um, the other option that some guys are looking at don't have livestock. You just want to maybe retain some of those nutrients. Um, it's, if everybody's put out their fertilizer for the most part and so if you can capture some of that uh, residual nitrogen that was on there and hold it until next year by using a cover crop that's another great option to, to hold on to that key investment of fertilizer as well um, things like that you know we're looking at uh, some of your really good nutrients or nitrogen scavengers like like radish or turnip even rapeseed's a good one and then some of your cereal, cereal grains as well um, but that's a plan that we can kind of put together as a cover crop mix as well um, just so you're not totally losing all of your nutrients as well um, but the key thing is, is is you know look at your options discuss some of these things over um, with your agronomist or give your give give myself a call and um, we can at least get the plan put together and uh, make sure that we get something green and growing back on these flooded acres as soon as they dry out um, thanks for watching uh, i'm justin pretty bye